The medical management of heart disease is changing radically. With technological advancements, particularly in cardiac imaging, we can collect more information, better information, to help risk stratify individuals and direct individual level care. That's personalized medicine. Now, if you're watching this video, you probably know that LDL cholesterol has historically been the focus of the heart disease world. The algorithm, the past algorithm, it couldn't get simpler. Have high LDL, bad cholesterol, lower it. Here's a medication. But that simple idea is fading. Now, to present the caveat up front, I'm not saying LDL particles containing cholesterol and ApoB aren't part of the pathway of cardiovascular disease. They are. What I'm saying, however, is high doesn't simply equal bad and needs to be lowered. But don't take me on faith. Let's discuss data. One landmark study published in the cardiovascular journal Circulation in 2023 followed 23,132 middle-aged people, the median age was 57, from the Western Denmark Heart Registry for a median follow-up period of 4.3 years. And over this time, 552 of these people had cardiovascular events. And the researchers sought to answer the important question, what predicted who would have a cardiovascular event, like a heart attack. But there's more. The researchers broke those 23,132 participants into those who had a positive coronary artery calcium CAC scan and those who had a CAC score of zero. A CAC scan is an imaging technique that measures calcified plaques in the arteries of your heart. And in this population, about half had a CAC of zero, and about half had a CAC that wasn't zero, that was greater than zero. And what they found was amazing. Among those with CACs greater than zero, LDL did predict who would have a cardiovascular event. However, among those with a CAC of zero, there was no association between LDL cholesterol and cardiovascular disease events. You can see that here. I'm showing parts of figure one. You can see the association between LDL cholesterol and heart attacks on the left and atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease on the right for those who had a CAC greater than zero. And you can see as LDL cholesterol rises, the adjusted hazards ratio increases. The adjusted hazards ratio is a ratio of how likely an event is to occur in a group compared to another group over time. Here we are comparing people across the LDL cholesterol spectrum. And among those with a CAC greater than zero, higher LDL has a hazards ratio above one, meaning higher risk of heart events and cardiovascular disease, as compared to those with lower cholesterol. And if you're wondering about the adjusted and the adjusted hazards ratio, they adjusted for age, sex, smoking status, and diabetes. But now, Here's what I find interesting. Look here. This is the adjusted hazards ratio for those with the CAC of zero. And what you can clearly see is a flat red line at one. This suggests higher LDL cholesterol does not associate with higher risk of heart events and cardiovascular disease in those with a CAC of zero. It provides a sort of warranty, if you will. What's more, when the researchers took those with very, very high LDL, above 193 milligrams per deciliter, and compared them to those with lower LDL, under 116 milligrams per deciliter, when CAC was zero, there was no observed benefit of having lower cholesterol. The hazards ratio was actually slightly under one at 0.95. The researchers also replicated these findings, importantly, they replicated them in an entirely separate cohort, the multi-ethnic study of atherosclerosis, MESA cohort. And notably, in this replication cohort, the median age was 62, slightly older, and the median follow-up time period was 16.6 years. And despite the older age and longer time frame, the results remained the same. Higher LDL cholesterol was not associated with heart attacks, or atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease when CAC was zero. So zooming out and summarizing, among those with a CAC of zero 
In the initial population of greater than 23,000 middle-aged adults, there was no significant association between LDL cholesterol and heart attacks or between LDL cholesterol and atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. These results were then replicated in another cohort of slightly older patients with a 16.6-year follow-up period. Pretty striking, right? And I'll also add that even among those with a CAC of zero, there were other variables that did associate with heart attacks and cardiovascular disease, including diabetes, smoking, and low HDL cholesterol, a marker of metabolic syndrome. I think this reinforces the importance of metabolic health in predicting your cardiovascular health.